bar on the back and you squat fucking down, feet flat, like you're shitting over a hole, like this. You keep your back straight up and down, 20 fucking reps with the bar. And then I need somebody here just doing military press. Push up and down. You got two sets of dumbbells here. You just keep going. Devin, get on the prowler. 20 reps on the prowler. If you're standing around, fucking get on it. You just got off the prowler, you get on the sled. Let's go. Yeah. that, you can't. Morning, guys. Josh here. Uh, I'm going to be taking my supplements. I'm be working at leg days in a little while. So we're going to do leg day workouts. I suck at leg days. I'm not really good at them. So, yeah, you're going to see me do leg days, uh, pretty much squats, for primarily, um, with training wheels. So, yeah, because I'm working at it. And, yeah, so right now I'm going to take my supplements. The supplements that I take are Lean Fire, which helps your metabolism, primarily. So I'm going to caffeine in them. Actually, I have a whole box right here. Here's a box of them. And I get that from Amazon. So, yeah, and then you're going to watch me make some breakfast, too, so I'm going to do my eggs and cheese in a little while. That's my protein pre-workout meal. Um, I'm going to grab my power bars, too. All right. All right, so what I'm starting right now is I'm making my eggs and my cheese mix. So I got my eggs. I got my happy eggs, right? And then what I do is add some eat eggs in then boil them up. We're gonna make some hard boiled eggs and cheese, and that's my protein mix before we lift. So it's kind of like my little ritual that I put together. Alright. Nice. Alright, so now we got the eggs boiling, they're steaming hot, they are rocking. So we got that going on. So now we're gonna get a plastic container and put them in some ice water so they can like just I don't know. I hear like if you put the eggs, like a hard boiled egg and some ice water, they're easy to peel. So we're going to do that next. Alright, so we got the eggs in the water. Put them in. Put the ice in. We'll do one more. Alright, got it from the tray. Alright, I kind of let that sit. Sit for about maybe, I don't know, let's say 10 minutes. And then we'll mix it with the cheese. And a little bit of mayo, too. All right. Okay, so next up, we're going to take the eggs, crack them, get the garbage pail, rope a little here, my garbage can for the eggshells, and start peeling. All right, so next thing we do, we got our bowl, our plastic bowl. We take our eggs that are nicely de-shelled, and we start carving. We start scraping up the eggs right here, like so. Alright, then we start adding some craft cheese, cheddar cheese. It's probably too much, but I don't like a lot of cheese. Alright. Yep. Okay, there's that. Okay, take the mayo. Scoop in. We're gonna do two scoops. Probably a mayo, mayonnaise. Then we start mixing it. Pretty much the mayo is just to get everything to stick together. That's why I mainly use it. Just get everything in there. Get the mayonnaise back together. Then you got your egg surprise, man. Your eggs, cheese, a little bit of mayo. Put everything in there. And that's my pre-protein meal that I have right before I go to work out. And then kind of go from there. Yeah. Alright, now next up we do is we're going to get our pre-workout put, put together. I've got my shake with my Pisces logo in there. Because I'm a Pisces, right? Pre-workout I use is lit. I got this from Walmart, so that's the one I've been using for a while. Uh, I used to use this, this other one a while back. But I bought lit um, just for a change of pace. It just kind of works well for me, so I don't try it out. It's got a little bit of creatine in it, but it's pretty much your usual pre-workout. So it gets you a nice jolt uh, right before you work out. Maybe like 30 minutes before you actually lift or when you head out. Get the 
And, yep, served. <coughs> and we got the pre-workout with the shake and the Gatorade. Gatorade, zero. No calories, uh, no sugar. Just Gatorade. <coughs> Just Gatorade, zero. One pre-workout. Yeah. Here's my biggest thing about leg day workouts. I suck at them. I'm not good at them at all. Um, they're very, very challenging. I've never really done leg workouts in the past, now that I can recall. So they're very, very new to me. So you saw my last video. My last video was all about dumbbells and going from 65, 75, all the way up to 100. So I complete that goal. So my next goal is leg workouts, leg day type stuff. So we're gonna do that now and yeah, so this is going to be a, a brand new journey to really try to master this the best we can and kind of go from there. So here we go. The one thing we got to remember too is we never go based on thought. When you're trying to complete a goal, it does go based on like, you know, how your mindset is. But we also have to go based on feeling. How do I feel about this? Do I feel confident? Do I feel brave enough to go ahead and leap into this fucking thing? Once you feel brave enough, you can leap into it and you can master it really, really, really quick. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna practice getting my butt in a lower position, almost like in a seating-like position, because I tend to struggle with that. So I don't know if it's just my back or my legs, but I kind of struggle with that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lean against the wall, like so. And then, lean against the wall, practice in this type of formation. You're like this. Back up. Right. Keep this journey going. Get lower. Low, 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 low. Don't get this in the right position. But we're going to do squats this way. You put the bar on the back, and you squat fucking down, feet flat, like you're shitting over a hole, like this. You keep your back straight up and down. So you can see right here, I'm using uh, a training wheel. Just to help me get lower again, and then as we work our way to this, we will get lower without a bench or a seat. Right now, we're just working our way down, up and down, just to get in the right form good form for a good squat workout. So that's what I'm working right now. Thanks, Warrior. Appreciate your help. So I did one rep, a total of 75 on each side. So that was one. Um, so it just kind of worked my way up, and we're gonna go through this journey on leg workouts. So here's a little story for you. You know, whenever I'm feeling lost or just kind of confused, what to do with myself, where to go, what to do, 
Um, a lot of time what comes to mind for me is just taking a break. I take a break almost from everything you do. Social groups, um, hustles, hobbies, you know, if you work, you maybe want to take a couple days, maybe to a week off and just regroup yourself. Let your thoughts gather, let things gather in your mind, let your energy regroup, recharge yourself. Um, a lot of time for me, when it comes to mind, if I'm really feeling lost and I'm going through a lot of anxiety and a lot of like depression, um, I just feel really out of it, I'll do that and then I start to, I don't know, I, I start to get these ideas and they usually, they usually happen within three to six months, three to six months. Um, maybe a little longer, eight months, um, but three to six, maybe eight months, I start to get these ideas in my head. They just start to come in, how to make my life better. Uh, so this could be workouts, this could be something creative, like, you know, I, I write screenplays, um, so it could be something with screenplays. I do terror reading, so it could be something with terror reading, anything. Um, who to talk to, who to, who to, like, maybe if I need to get shit off my chest, who do I go to? You know, and sometimes you want to say these things out loud. So like, if you feel really lost, you say affirmations out loud. You say like, I want to better my social group. I want to better my health. I want to better my workout. Show me how I could do this. Show me how I could do this so I can better myself in this particular uh, area, this scenario. And you'd be amazed what shows up in your life. But if you have a hard time with that, you're too scared to say things out loud, um, I'm in the middle of a gym right now, and I'm just talking to a camera, so it gives a shit, right? But at the end of the day, it's just like, just say things out loud. If you're still struggling with that, um, journal, write it down, put it on post notes. Just, you know, start, you know, text things to yourself. It's all right, you know, no shame in that shit. No shame in feeling lost and out of it, too. Just do that, you know, because you never know. You never know. But anyway, that's part of my leg squat journey. You guys got to follow me on. I hope you like this. Please um, hit subscribe, follow me if you want more, because I'll be doing more. I like to do positive spiels on things. I like to talk about problem solving. I'm really into that in any uh, way of life. You know, it's relationships, work, money, health, injuries, anything. There, there's a way out and it's a resolution to almost everything. I promise you that. I always promise you that. So. Hope you like this video. Uh, stick around. I got more content coming, and I'm gonna do more on the car. Um, yeah, videos on, on terror reading too, and you know, law of attraction and things of that nature too. All right, take care.